Hey guys, today I'm going to show you a free workflow tool and I'm going to show you exactly how you can set it up for your bookkeeping business to keep track of what each client needs to do and stay as organized as possible. If you don't know me, my name's Morgan from finepoints.biz and I love helping you get organized. A like helps me out a ton as well as subscribe to my channel for a new video each week. All right, so I'm going to get right into it. Asana is my newest favorite workflow tool and I've been using it for everything like communicating with like my assistant, my virtual assistant and making my to-do list and just a whole host of things. So I thought that this would be a really great resource for you guys as well. All right, so the first thing I want you to do is start a new project. I forgot to screen record this part, but it's pretty self-explanatory. So I just do a new blank project. I think you can also use a template and something too, but just do a regular blank one. And then I really like to set it up like a board. So I'm going to show you what a list looks like at the end, but a board is kind of my favorite and I just, I like how it's laid out and I can like visualize it really well. So you can see along the top here, I started writing in client one, client two, client three, and then of course you could write your client's actual names for your real clients. These are each called tasks. Excuse me if I ever mix up their wording, but I think these are each called a task. So every vertical column is a task. So for client one, I then created a new task and I named it January. So I just typed in the month here and then under January, I decided to use subtasks to put all of the checklist of things that I needed to do for client one in January. So you can see here, I put enter checks, categorize income, categorize bank feeds, um, send ask my accountant to the client and then reconcile my credit card account, reconcile the bank account, send reports and KPIs, key performance indicators to my client. Um, and I do have a video called a month in the life of a bookkeeper where I kind of go through this type of checklist in more detail. So you can check out that video if you are interested. And then within Asana, you can go through and as you complete each of these tasks, you can check off each of the things. And it's really pretty self-explanatory and it gives you this little graphic that like is excited when you're done with things. And then, so, and then I decided just to duplicate it across each client. So you can just press the three little, um, circles there in the corner and say duplicate and then that will give you another January. I think it's called duplicate of January. And then you, I like, what I like about these Asana boards too, is you can just drag things different places. So I do that like with my to-do lists. If I don't get something done, I can just drag it to the next day or something. Um, so in Asana, so I made this duplicate of January and then I just dragged it over to client two. And then of course, client two might have slightly different activities that you need to do for them. So you can add or subtract the subtasks within there. And you can assign tasks to different people. So this is probably best used within your bookkeeping practice because um, I believe if you assign clients to these then they could see each of the different, you know, sections or they could see the other client's information. Um, so you could probably figure out a way to set it up where it would be more private. You might have to make different projects for different clients instead of having it lined up like I do. Um, but the point is if it's helpful, you can assign a task to someone else. Um, you just put in their email and then it sends them an invite and they make a, um, account in Asana and then they are able to see what you've assigned them. And then you can also put a date in these. So if you wanted to, you could put due dates for all these things. And then I'll show you at the end, we can look at the calendar view as well to see when, you know, see when stuff is due. All right. And then you can see as we finish with January, we're going into February. Again, you can just duplicate that list that you had in um, January, and then you can just copy it down for the next month. And then you can just get started with your February tasks. And then of course, anytime you want to add extra to do's, here is an example of me adding a to do for this client. Number one, I added, um, that I need them to send me their year and report for office furniture. Um, and then, so you can always just like add, like, you're like, Oh, I have to get that from this client. You can just make yourself a note right in there. Then of course, check it off when you're done. And then also I made another column just for like to do's, like maybe that if that's helpful for you, you can do like a general to do column. So on mine, I just put, remember to order 1099s, send a contract to new client and renew business license. And of course, then you can use the checkoff feature, the scheduling feature and the assign feature if you would like in those as well. Okay. And then I told you when I started, we created a board because I like that, um, that view, but you can also view this as a list. And so that's kind of more traditional. One thing that's cool about lists too, that I've used is you can put a priority. You might be able to do that in the board as well, but you can put things, you can prioritize high, medium, low, I think in the list view, and then you can organize, you can sort it by priority. So you can be like, oh, I need to do these, 
you know, things first and they're most important. And then you can upgrade to a paid version of Asana if you want some of these other like bells and whistles. I think starting off with the free version is perfectly fine and that's all I'm using at this time. So, but then you can also see the calendar. So if you do assign a task with a date, then they'll show up on this calendar, which is really cool. And the other way I did think of that you could set this up if you prefer is instead of doing clients across the top, you could do the months across the top and then each task would be each client. So it's just kind of like how your brain works if you want to look at each month as a column and just focus on January or if you kind of like the idea of each client being broken out a little bit more. And then within these tasks, you can also use this description to put more information if you need more space or if you want to organize your info that way. So I'm just typing in here, the client's website is whatever it is, um, or just however you want to use that. Just that's another resource in addition to the subtasks. And I have been hearing more and more about different um, bookkeeper workflow tools. I can't think of the names off the top of my head, but let me know in the comments if you know any other ones or if there's any other ones that you want me to try out and review. I know I went to a webinar and they were promoting one. I think it's sort of the P, like maybe Pixel or something. I don't know. I just have already been using Asana and I find it really easy. It's super intuitive to use and it's free, which is obviously a huge win. So let's chat down in the comments and let me know if you have any ideas about workflow or how you are the most efficient and what tools you have found helpful as well. And if you're just exploring the idea of bookkeeping, but you're not really sure yet if bookkeeping is right for you, check out my free webinar that talks all about if bookkeeping could be right for you or not. I'll have it linked down in the description box below. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you again next week with another bookkeeper video. Thanks so much. Bye.